Right now, you're staring at one of the largest roach species in the world. Huh? These are Madagascar hissing cockroaches. And as you can see, they're munching on some delicious bug burger. Oh. Anyways, now that I've got your guys' attention and my cock is nice and girthy, let's go ahead and feed some tarantulas. <laughs> Starting this video off with a banger, this is Zenenthus Intermedia, also known as the Amazon Blue Beauty, and this is actually my first time showing this tarantula on camera, since she's just starting to get her adult coloration. Now, seeing as it's spooky season and all, it only seems right that we feed the skeleton tarantula. Interestingly, this species used to be very common within the hobby. In fact, many tarantula keepers overlooked this species altogether, since they were so abundant. However, times have changed. The skeleton tarantula is no longer as common as they were, and as a result, tarantula keepers are looking everywhere for them. Bruh. This next tarantula is extremely rare. This is Bonatita papulatinensis, and this species hails from Mexico, and was just recently described in 2012. So I'm gonna be giving this extremely rare tarantula a delicious gut-loaded hisser. The tarantula grabs the roach with her pedipalps and then sinks her hypodermic needle-like fangs into the hissing cockroach. These fangs are strong enough to pierce the roach's exoskeleton, which is the hard outer layer that protects the roach's gooey and vulnerable insides. Now, the tarantula continues to chew on the hissing cockroach, and surprisingly, the roach was almost able to escape, but the tea wrestles with the roach in order to secure a better position for her fangs, and now that the roach is forced to hold this L, the sore winner of a tarantula does her celebratory victory dance. Extra Bruh. Next up, we're gonna be sacrificing Senior Poopy Butt. <laughs> To my juvenile goliath pinto she can feel the roach moving his legs with her vibration sensitive hairs and starts to make a move on mr poopy butt slowly but surely she begins to strike the sacrificial roach and she starts slurping up those delicious insides now inside of this hole right here we've got a special tarantula and in order for us to get a good look at this tea i must attempt to fish it out of its burrow with its prey as i try my best to simulate roach movement the tea's legs begins to peek out of the burrow and that beautiful iridescence underneath the legs are actually sticky pads used for gripping prey oh crap the head just popped off <laughs> that was not supposed to happen Anyways, that's my sun tiger tarantula, and since she's acting like such a psychopath, we're just gonna let her take her kill into her burrow. Bruh. Okay, so right now we're gonna be attempting to feed one of my favorite species of tarantula. Holy crap, it actually took- Oh, <sighs> the pain. Like I was trying to say before I was forced to hold an L, we are going to be feeding one of my favorite tarantula species. In this enclosure, I have Calabrachia species Electric Blue. And as you can see, this fossorial old world tarantula has an amazing feeding response. But that's not why they're one of my favorite species. The real reason I'm in love with these spiders has to do with the jaw-dropping electric purples and blues that these amazing creatures display. And even though they look a little bland right now, keep in mind... It's your baby! It would be so sick if I could get this species deed on camera. Be, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Alrighty, let's go ahead and finish this video off with some hobby giants. Right here, we got Theraphosa Blondi, one of the largest tarantulas in the entire world, and is most definitely the heaviest body tarantula in the entire world. Now, even though this guy is only a juvenile, he'll be reaching a maximum leg span of 10 to 11 inches. Yes, imagine that. A 10 to an 11 inch spider... Mm, Daddy just gets so, so, so excited thinking about that. Stop it. Get some help. Next up is my tea hypothesis. Let's go ahead and drop in this cockroach. Oh my gosh. Jimmy Neutron didn't even hesitate to gobble up that cock. Huh? Obviously, you know what a hissing cockroach is, but do you know how they hiss? Well, to start, Madagascar hissing cockroaches don't have any lungs. Instead, hissers along with all other insects have openings on the side of their body that lead to air ducts. These air ducts are called spiracles, and when a giant hissing cockroach gets startled, they'll quickly push a burst of air out through their spiracles, creating that infamous hissing noise in an attempt to scare off their predator and live another day. Fortunately, loud hissing is actually pretty effective at startling animals that try to eat the roach, and can usually save the roach's life. However, evolution forgot to take into account Count one primary predator while developing this strategy. Hey. This is a tarantula. They're completely deaf, so no amount of screaming, I mean hissing, will be able to scare off these hairy behemoths. Aww. 